Hi students, good afternoon. Welcome to this video session. My name is Samuel Chuku Emeka. As usual. In this video session, we shall use the TI-84 plus to make a table of values. Uh, these are the functions that we shall make a table of values for. Uh, make a table of values for the integer values of x from negative 3 to 2. Uh, let's explain what this means. There is less than or equal to here, so which means that negative 3 is included. But there is no equal to here, so which means that 2 will not be included. Then the question says integer values. So when we talk of integer values, we now mean negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. 2 will not be included because there is no equal to here. It's only less than 2. The first one is a linear function. The second one is a quadratic function. The third one is a quadratic function. The fourth one is a cubic function. The fifth one is a linear function. The sixth one is a rational function. Uh, can you tell the difference between the fifth function and the sixth function? In the fifth function, you know that uh, this x belongs to the numerator, actually. Uh, this is a linear function. Uh, while here, the x belongs to the denominator. Uh, with a rational function, it is of the form p of x over q of x where q of x is not equal to 0. So we shall look at, you know, the table of values for these two. Then the seventh one is, a, is an absolute value function. So we are required to make a table of values for these functions using the TI-84+. Uh, since you are required to use the TI-84+, in this course, we shall make extensive use of the TI-84+. Now, bear in mind that we shall only use it to check our answers. You are still required to show all your work. This is not a giveaway for you to just do it and just write down everything. You have to show me how you got it. So, take note of that. Uh, another thing I want to point out uh, is that assuming you are giving uh, this this uh, function, this equation, assuming you are not giving it like this, you know, here, if you look at all these functions, uh, y is isolated, okay, but here, y is not isolated. So, if you are giving the equation like this, you have to express it like this, okay, you have to isolate y, you have to make y the subject of the formula. You express y in terms of x. So take note of that. Uh, sometimes you will not be given uh, the equation like this. Uh -huh. You will be given it like this and you have to express it like this. Then y is the same thing as f of x. f of x means function of x. Uh, y is a function of x. Uh, generally, y is a function of x y is known as the dependent variable and x is known as the independent variable so whether i write y equal to 2x minus 1 or f of x equal to 2x minus 1 it means the same thing let's get started uh, i have the emulator here that i downloaded uh, is a trial version Uh, so we have the uh, TI-84 plus silver edition like this. Uh, we have a, I'm using TI-84 plus. This is TI-84 plus C, but I'm using TI-84 plus. Uh, we, the first one is uh, y equal to 2x minus 1. So uh, like I said, all the ones, y is the subject of the formula. If it is given to you this way, you have to make it this way. So what we have to do here. Uh, you see y equal to y equal to this function here we we uh, click on it 
and we write a 2x minus 1 so 2 and this is x here x minus 1 now uh, after typing this the next thing we have to do is to set our table of values for this function and our table of values is from a uh, negative 3 to 1 2 is not included so it starts from negative 3 so you look at this uh, table set tblsct uh, it is blue in color uh, all the functions that are blue in color before you use it you have to press the second function here so we press second function and we press table set so this is already in negative 3 table starts from negative 3 now assuming is you want it to start from negative 7 you can change it uh, you can either uh, press the delete key on your keyboard and you you know and you press negative 7 on your keyboard or you can you can press clear to clear it if you're using this and you just press negative 3 I didn't use uh, my negative as this no I used it as this this is negative 3 the one in parentheses so take note of that uh, this means uh, incremental table uh, if uh, uh, we have a negative 3 uh, incremental table is 1 which means uh, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 negative 1 plus 1 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so we want it to, it to increase by 1 if we don't want it to increase by 1 if we want it to increase by 2 right uh, it will be negative 3 then negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 then after negative 3 we now have negative 1 negative 1 plus 2 is 1 after negative uh, 1 we now have 1 that means incrementing by 2 but we don't want that we want it to increment by 1 so we leave it that way uh, this means uh, independent variable and dependent variable uh, our x and our y uh, it, uh, automatically or uh, generally by default uh, x is the independent variable and y is the uh, dependent variable it is set to auto auto if you don't want it like that if you have other variables that you want to change you know want to be independent uh, if you don't want it that way if you want to change the v uh, if you have your own variables to change right then you have to set it to ask and ask if you want your own variables for independent and your variables for dependent you change it to ask and ask but right now we are using x and y so we leave it as auto auto uh, after you have said this the next thing is to find your table and here the table is in blue so we have to press second function again and press table so as you can see this is the table when x is negative 3 uh, this will be 2 times negative 3 which is negative 6 negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7 now you are still required to show your work not just to just come immediately and dry, uh, write this table okay this is just for you to check your answers to make sure that you got it correct uh, one nice thing about this TI is that uh, you can it, it does not matter you can uh, if you want to see it for negative 4 you just keep on negative 5 negative 6 I'm pressing on the arrow cursor key on my keyboard if you don't want to press it if you want to press it here you just keep pressing here and it increases the incremental value is 1 okay so uh, uh, and if you want to go to the positive values you keep pressing you know so it gives you for many values you see that but from the question we want to just stop at we want it to start at negative 3 so we leave it like that so this is the table of values that is it next question is um, x minus 2 all squared this is a quadratic function so how do we do this stuff we come here uh, we go to y equal to and let's just clear this we clear it and uh, this is a uh, x minus 2 all squared 
so we put the parentheses we put x minus 2 we close the parentheses okay minus is this one now not this one okay minus 2 all squared then this is the exponent here all squared see that then of course we it's of no use uh, setting the table is already we know that it's already set to start from negative 3 so you know we just go to second function table and this is the table that tells you that when x is a negative 3 y will be negative 3 negative 2 negative 5 negative 5 all squared is 25 when x is a uh, 1 y will be 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 all squared is 1 so we only need from negative 3 to 1 okay we don't need 2 because 2 is not included next one uh, x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now, do you notice something here that this and this are the same thing? Okay, I just want to, I just put it so to also illustrate to you. Uh, we you, Here you just clear this. Clear it. Uh, x squared minus 4x plus 4. So this is a x raised to power 2. Then bring this down, the cursor. Okay, you can uh, if you still uh, uh, put it there, then it will still be on exponent. You have to click the cursor so that it will come down. Uh, uh, minus 4x uh, plus 4. Okay. We already set our table. So, let's not... Uh, let's go straight to the table, the table of values. So, you see it's the same thing. See that? It's the same thing. Uh, next one is uh, x cubed plus 1. Okay, so we go to y equal to, we can go ahead and clear this. Uh, x cubed x raised to power 3. Then we press this to bring it down. Okay, plus 1. And then we put second function and do a table. It gives us that right away. Okay. Uh, next one is a uh, negative one over two x plus five. Uh, I want to say something here. There are, uh, if you are having this, let's go. Let's first of all and clear, go and clear this. Uh, when you have a fraction, it is good to put it. Uh, it's good to put it uh, uh, in parentheses. Yeah, but I'm going to show you two ways you can do this, and then I will also show you how to do this. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we can put parentheses, then we put a minus, now this is negative one half, or minus one half, but we are not going to use this, we're going to use this. Negative uh, one divided by two, okay, then you close it, and then you put x. Right? Negative one half x plus five. Then plus five. And then a second function and table. So uh let's if you see that you see negative one half times um, zero is zero plus five five. Negative one half times negative two. Negative times negative is positive. Two divided by two is a one. One plus five is six. Now, another way you can do this, okay, and, you know, I kind of like this way, uh, is doing it like this. You can do it like this. Uh, let's clear this. Uh, if you put this like this, uh, negative 1 divided by 2, and you close it, and you do a times, times x okay plus five you can do it this way and it's going to still give you the same thing okay um that's the way we can do it you can put it you know you can just put x or you put times x whichever one 
Uh, now, how are you going to do this one? Rational function, 1 over 2x. Uh, this is the way we are going to do it. I clear this stuff. Uh, this is 1 divided by... Uh, now, you have to put parentheses because if you don't put parentheses, okay, uh, I'm going to show you. You have to put parentheses 2 and you put x. Because if we don't put parentheses, then you will see it's going to be, the, uh, it will be a different answer. I'll show it to you so you see. Uh, so if you want to do that one, this is 1 over 2. You have to put parentheses, 1, one divided by, then put parentheses, 2x. Uh, second function table. So this is what we got here. Of course, for 0, it's going to be error because uh, if it's... If you divide anything by zero, then it will be indefinite. I mean, it will be undefined. Okay, it will be an error. Uh, now, assuming we did it like this, then you will see what I'm talking about. Uh, if you don't put the, you will see the uh, why we have to put the parentheses. If we did a one divided by two, and we just did x, right? Second function table. You see now. It will take it as a 1 over 2 times x. That is what it will take it as. 1 over 2 times x. So you see why you need to put a... You see why you need to put a parenthesis. Okay? You need to put parenthesis if you want to get it right. You must have to put parenthesis here. So that you can now get it right. Okay. Uh, the... The last but not the least, absolute value of x minus 3. Uh, press this, clear it. Uh, now, if you look at this now, you don't see absolute value, do you? Uh, we don't see any absolute value. Maybe the this sign, this sign, or we don't see ABS, absolute value. So what you have to do here, I'm, and I'm going to explain this. You click on math. When you click on math, uh, if you press 1, it gives you fraction 2 in decimal, 3, uh, 4 is cube root, 5 is uh, x root of anything. Okay? Now, if you go to uh, num, you see absolute value. Round, i part, f part, integer part, minimum, maximum. Okay? If you go to... Uh, uh, this is conjugate, real, imaginary, angle, ABS, absolute value. If you go to probability, random, perm uh, permutation and combination, and the rest of them. So you kind of see what, it, what these functions are, so you can use it. As we go on the topics in this course, we shall make use of some of these functions. So in this norm, you have an absolute value, right? Uh, if you press 1. So you go ahead and press 1. So that gives you the absolute value right away here. And then uh, this is uh, x minus 3. So you put a uh, x. Okay. I want you to put x. Right. You now have to press this. You have to press this shift. Otherwise, uh, if you don't press this shift, then it won't go out like that. Okay. You have to press shift. So it will come. It will move out. And it will only be absolute value of x. Do you see what I'm talking about? And then you now put minus 3. Okay? And you press second function and you press the table. And it gives you that. Alright? Uh, please, if you have any questions, you ask in class. Watch out for more videos on this. Thank you so much. And you have a great day.